I came here today to say the fact that calculation-wise, I do not exist. And calculation-wise, you do not exist. And calculation-wise, this place does not exist. The whole story started before Einstein dies. He went crazy, and he decided that he wants to find a theory for everything. One single equation. Whenever you apply it on anything, it will give you the required results. And in order for Einstein to do so, he has to find something called the building block of the universe. So the question is, what is the building block of the universe? The building block of the universe is the smallest, tiny, teeny, common thing that builds me, you, and everything around us. So let me take you through a quick journey of the scientists while they were trying to find the building block of the universe. So can you imagine, or as you see here, we have this table here. It looks real and solid till you put it under a microscope. And what you will find is that it consists of molecules. And between these molecules, there is space. And can you imagine one more time that you took one of these molecules and you put it under a more powerful microscope? What you will see is that it consists of atoms. And between these atoms, there is more space. And if you took one of these atoms and you look deep inside, what you will find is that it consists of nuclei and electrons that revolves around it. And the electrons themselves are energy. They are not considered as real matter. And everything between the nuclei and the electrons is space. So at this point of time, scientists went really happy and they said, finally, we found it. Nuclei is the building block of the universe. But what happened is, science got better and better again. And they were able to look deep inside the nuclei. And what they found is that it consists of protons and nitrons. And between protons and nitrons, there is more. <laughs> and what happened one more time is that they were able to look deep inside the proton or a nitron. And what they found is that it consists of quarks. And between these quarks and each other, there is more. And the final thing that they found that was 20 years ago is that they were able to look deep inside a quark. And what they found is that it consists of strings. And between these strings, there is more. And that was the last thing that they found here. And they finally found, and they say that we finally find the building block of the universe, which is strings. And in order for you to understand how small a string is and how tiny, teeny it is, if you are comparing a string to an atom, it's like you're comparing a, tea on a tree on planet Earth to the whole solar system. That is how small it is. So scientists went 99.9999999% of everything that you see around you is made out of space. So calculation-wise, I do not exist. And calculation-wise, you do not exist. And calculation-wise, this place does not exist. But the thing is, I do exist. You do exist, and this place do exist. So what's happening here? In order for us to answer this question, we have to get back to the fundamentals and the basics of matter. We have to get back to the building block of the universe, which is strings. As a matter of fact, strings has two unique properties that let them build the word in the way that we see here. The first thing, string is called a string because it looks like a string on a violin or a guitar, and it acts like a string on a violin on a, or on a guitar. Different notes on a violin or on a guitar will give you different, sorry, different frequencies on a, on a violin or on a guitar will give you different notes. The same exact thing happens on a string as a building block of the universe. Different frequencies will give it different shapes that we keep populating out, giving us a different form of matter. And in order for us to understand how important frequency is in such a thing, Let's see this small experiment. Can you imagine that we have this rope attached to this bowl, and it's stand, standing still, doing nothing? It would be occupying this very small space. Till I start moving it in a frequent way. And what's happening now is that it's taking the whole space of a circle, which is a bigger space. And that is exactly what's happening deep inside. They are, the strings are always moving. They are in a frequent movement, and that's why they are taking and occupying more space. The second thing, or the second property of a string, is the fact that they are all in synergy. And they are all in harmony together, and that's why they build the word in the way that we see here. And I would like to make a small comparison here between a string as a building block of the universe and this lovely brick as a building block of this room. This room is made out 
of 10,000 bricks like this. So can you imagine that we have 10,000 bricks like this over here, and they are just thrown away here randomly? What are we going to have here? We're going to have a bunch of bricks, useless bunch of bricks. But because these 10,000 bricks, they are in harmony, synergy, and they are very well structured, that's why we have this room that we are in here. The same exact thing happens with a string as a building block of the universe. They are all in, in synergy and harmony all together to build the word in the way that we see here. As a matter of fact, because of these two properties, these weak, small, tiny, teeny strings are really strong together and that's why they build the word in the way that we see here. And the point that I would like to make here, if a string is a building block of the universe, each and every one of you is the building block of the humanity. And surprise, surprise, we have the same two properties. If each and every one of us is just sitting here doing absolutely nothing, we will be exactly like this rope and bowl. Till we, are, till we start developing and moving and changing everything around us. That's why we are really effective as human beings. And the second thing that we share with with strings is the fact that we are all in synergy. Each and every one of us is a building block in a certain building. It's either you are a building block in a family, father, mother, sister, or brother, building block in a company, employee, team lead, manager, doctor, engineer. Each and every one of you is a building block in a team. And, in order and because of this, we are all in synergy. And without this synergy, we wouldn't have the word in the way that we see here. As a matter of fact, we are all like a musical note. One single musical note, just alone, will be noise. But a musical note, one single, the same exact musical note in the middle of a beat will be really beautiful. It's the same exact beat without this musical note that we saw that it's pointless at the very beginning, it's going to be ugly. There's something missing. No matter what you do, no matter how small you think your role is, it's really important. It's really important because it is part of synergy. So to conclude the whole thing, keep in mind that each and every one of you is a note in a symphony. Thank you. <laughs>